Hi everyone, so let's talk about find a city with the smallest number of a neighbor at a threshold distance. So you are given n city, so it's going to be 0 to a minus 1, and then you are given the array, which is edges. So edges, uh, edges are equal to front, two, and weight, right? That represent a bidirectional, and weight edges between the city and city, right? So city A to city B, to be honest, and you are given the integer uh, distance threshold, right? So you have to return the city with the smallest number of the city, they are reachable through the some path that is at most distance threshold. So this is uh, this question is really uh, straightforward, but the problem is, is really hard to code. This is a rough problem. So okay, look, look at this. I mean, if there are four cities, so it's going to be zero to three. So city zero can can traverse well, can traverse from zero to one by default, right? So it, the the distance is three, but the distance threshold is four, right? So you can only go to uh, 0, 1, and 2, right? So, again, this is uh, the distance from uh, city 0 can travel, right? So, system one, uh, city 1, uh, this guy can travel from what? From 1 to 0, okay, this is 3. So, since there's no city after the city 0, you can, you can restart from city 1 again. So, the threshold is starting from 0 again. So, 1 to 2, okay, so uh, you can get city 0 and city 2, and then you can go from city 1 to, to 3, right? But you can also go from 1 to 3, but this threshold, uh, this way is too big, so you probably have to go from here to here, right? So you can go to city 3. So, uh, if you find out the, if you find out the path, which is smallest than the path originally, right? You can actually update, right? So I'm update this to 2. And give me one second. All right. So uh, let me erase this one. So now the current path for one to three or three to one doesn't matter because this is a bidirectional path, right? So this is two. Now city three, city three can go from what? City one, right? And city two only, right? So city one is path of two. City uh city two, two city two is path of uh weight of one. You cannot go. You cannot go from city three to city zero. This is because three plus two is actually five. Five, which is is greater than four, right? So now we have the what we we have uh of in in city two. I suppose right? city two you can definitely go from one zero and three for sure, right? If you do the math correctly, because uh city one can uh, you only need uh weight of one. City zero you can say one plus three, which is four, right? City three you can you can only use one, so. This is definitely uh, reachable from 0 to 1 on, and, and 3 for CD2. And CD3 is definitely only 2 CD, right? So this is actually uh, pretty straightforward if you, uh, if you just look in the graph, right? But the problem is, how do you actually call this? So uh, let me bring out another one. So, here, so here's my another picture. So I want to draw a little bit better. And here it is. So, I I should I should be know like how many neighbor I can travel from city zero to city two I mean city one two and three right so I need to know uh, how many how many reachable city do I have so imagine I have city right here which doesn't connect any uh, which doesn't connect any one of them right so this is disconnected right but the problem is I mean this is not a problem for sure right so I do need to know my uh, uh, my adjacent neighbor right so uh, imagine you have four cities so it's going to be an array of the adjacent and this this has to be a, a list right and inside the list right inside the list you need to have a another list to store the number of the neighbor you have right so it's going to be a list of lists right and I uh, and I will use a list of array be honest a uh, list of array right I will use a list of array right and this array would definitely tell me like uh, the weight and the destination city you, you can travel, right? So, for example, uh, right here, uh, is there a new Okay, yeah, this. So, uh, I'm making thing. You know, right. So, it's going to be zero, right? Just a little bit. Okay. Zero. And I can say one, two, and three, right? And then one, I can actually travel from. 0, 2, and 3, right? And then 2, I can actually travel from 1, 3, and 0, right? And then 3 is definitely 1 and 2, and 0, right? 
So you can actually tra uh, try travel from any city to any city, right? So the problem is you have to make sure the threshold distance, right? So how do we actually keep track of the distance? You need another a, a, another variable. So I'm going to call what? Call a 2D array. I'm going to say this is going to be n by n. And this is going to be 0, 2, 2, 3, right? Okay, sorry about this. This is going to be 0 to 3, and then this is going to be 0 to 3, right? Now, uh, for every single for every single uh cells in the table, so I'm going to call this is this f two D array. So this is going to be u. This is going to be v. So you will definitely know that like, this is from from city zero to any city, right? So by default, by by default, I'm going to initialize uh everything to uh in infinity. So it's going to be infinity. For every single in, for every single cell, right? But the problem is, is from yourself, uh, from your destination to your destination. So it's, it's going to be zero to zero. If zero to zero is definitely going to be zero, right? You cost of zero to travel to any city, right? So one one is going to be zero. Two two is going to be zero. Three three is going to be zero, right? And a anything else is going to be infinite, right? Now, uh, how do you actually need to update this? So, uh, when we when we actually traverse the entire edges, right? We we need to put them into the okay. So so we talk about the, we talk about the adjacent, right? So this adjacent will help us to update this table. And uh, when we update this table, we definitely need to know like if this value, this value, the current distance value is actually greater than my path. Imagine it's from zero to one. It's actually greater than my path, which is three. I need to update. So this is no longer the valid, uh, uh, valid cell because I, 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 I find out there's a path from zero to one, and which is which is uh, which costs three only, right? And then I will just keep doing it. So zero to one, okay, this is three, right? Then I can try traverse from adjacent adjacent variable to say, okay, how many city there is a path from city one to any city, right? And then I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be city two, right? City two is going to be cost of one, right? Oh, sorry about this. Cost of one, but the problem is you have to add your current value, which is four, right? And then so on, right? This is going to be five, right? Uh, this is going to be five, right? And then, um, Basically, this is supposed to be a little bit straightforward. I mean, the final table will give you like an integer for every single one of them, right? But uh, I will actually just help you to go through the code, to be honest. So if you have no idea, like what is Dextra? Uh, so if, if you know, I'm talking about Dextra solution. So um, you can actually watch this guy uh takes one like like this person on youtube he actually explained pretty well so i'm just go through the code right now it does take a long time right so uh, again i need a list of integer array right for json right in the list and i need to give a size of n and i need to initialize the, the json array first right and then JSON the i is equal to new array. Right. Uh, making sure I have the correct value. Now I need to have a, a QB array in front. It's going to be distant. New int. And by n, I need to traverse the entire, entire distant array, right? So I need to fill out everything. Array stuff filled. And then I'm going to fill every cell in the distance, and then I need to fill every single input. Right. So uh, I need to create a variable for uh, input equal to integer, and then one e nine plus seven. And then I need to set what distance at i at i. A current current position to current position. Is actually equal to zero. The cost of zero to tra travel from the city zero to city zero, right? Uh, now I need to what? Uh, I need to traverse uh, the edges, right? Int. 
array A, edges, right? And I'm going to say U equal to edges, edges 0, V equal to edges 1, and then cost, which is weight, is equal to edges 2. And I need to uh, put that into my uh, adjacent array, right? And this is going to be what? Adjacent at what? A U dot add. And I need to keep the integer array, right? And in array, right? So new int. And I'm passing, I'm passing what? I'm passing V and weight right here. So in array 0, the index 0 will represent the destination. And then index 1 represents the weight, right? Now adjacent A B dot add new int and then u weight so this is going to be from v to u again and then the weight should be the same right and this is the bidirectional right so uh just making sure you know and then i need to travel from any city to any city right so i need to make it sure i have a loop drivers from cd0 to cd n and the cd n minus one to be honest and again this is going to be a a couple of functions I'm going to call tetra and then this is going to be what well, I need to pass in the JSON I need to pass in the current position node and I also need to pass in the distant array right so uh, distant and i so so what does distant i represent okay uh, this is actually pretty tricky so distant i so distant i represent the current the current current role for the current current index right and definitely like in the beginning this is not going to update for sure, because because we didn't up, uh, we didn't go through the uh, uh, index two, index three yet, so we'll just go from index uh, index zero to one, and then when we when we uh, when we go for index one, right, and then we'll come to this one, and then somehow at some point, right, definitely we need to update the zero, right? So because city one and zero to one is three, so city one to zero is actually three, and then we'll just go for uh, the rest of the cell, and then when we go for the rest of the cell, we'll update the others position. I mean, other cell, to be honest, right? So this is how it is, right? And I will, and I will definitely bring back later. So I'm going to just code, probably code, because we don't need to return anything. So adjacent is going to be what? Uh, this one, right? And then the uh, this, the in the radius, right? So uh, we 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 pass the one D array only because we only need the current current row only. We don't need a big table, right? And then when we uh, because we know the index, so we know uh, which index we have to traverse, right? So we only need one D array, so we don't need two D array for the disk, right? And then we definitely need a source for the position we traverse. So I'm going to create a priority queue. So this priority queue takes the in array, and then I'm going to say keep new priority queue, and then and definitely like I need to compare. So how do I actually compare? So, uh, what so what do what do we need priority queue? Because we already passing what passing the weight of the uh, sorry the destination and then weight right. So basically, we can actually uh based on the weight, uh, based on the way we can sort this uh sort this array, and then so it's gonna be what from smallest to greatest right. So a one minus b one. So you you want to know like the the weight. You have to go from the smallest to the largest right. And then uh, definitely you need to uh, you need to add the current position to the priority queue, right? So it's gonna be what source at zero. So the current cost for the source is definitely zero. And then you need to traverse the entire entire priority queue, right? So so while PQ is not empty, then you should go through it, right? So in node, I'm gonna say PQ double. You can say remove doesn't matter. And then I have the well, I have a U, which is not zero. And the weight of u is going to be node one, so um, definitely like weight of u for the current position is definitely zero, right? So you just have to make sure like the weight of u is this, and then if the weight of u, so here's so here is it. So at some point, right, we will update three, right? So three become the what? Three become uh three become an update for the row zero at this position, right? So three is greater than zero. So we will, we, we don't have to go through this one because uh because we already updated right right so from zero to one from zero to one let me change another color so from zero to one we only update three and then we didn't update this one 
So from 1 to 0, we update 3, right? And then we have to make sure, do I get updated for this one? And then if this is greater value, if, if this is cell is greater, then you, you know, you already update the current cell or current node, so you don't have to traverse again. So uh, this is it, right? So if what? If the, if the this, uh, okay, if the way that you is greater than the this that you, okay? Then you don't want to bother, right? You don't want to bother. So width of you, uh, width of you should be what? Width of you should be three, and the this of you should be zero, right? So you don't, you don't, you don't want to get, you don't want to get bother. Now I need to traverse a neighbor, and for the current, sorry, and then back to the back to the back to the first index. So we have to traverse a neighbor, and the neighbor is definitely one. And let me just go through the neighbor. So for in array neighbor at this at u, right? So uh, look at this. Okay. Oh wait, it's not this at u. It's adjacent u. Sorry about this. Adjacent u. So in the adjacent, in the adjacent, we 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 supposed to know that which is uh what vertex is in the city zero, right? CG0, right? So uh, this is definitely the one of them, right? Then I, 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 then I will have to, uh, I will have to, I will have to pull out CDV equal to neighbor from U to V, right? CDV neighbor at one, zero, comma, and then weight of V equal to neighbor at one. All right, so, uh, so imagine this. So, Imagine this. So this was what this was this was infinite, infinite here, right? This was infinite at the beginning, right? But we need to get updated, right? So we are, we already know like uh let me move a little bit forward. So we already know the weight of u at the current position is actually zero, right? It's actually zero, and the weight of a b weight of b in the adjacent is definitely three, right? It's definitely three because we we already know one comma zero one to uh zero to one, uh for the weight is three right so we need to get updated because because at distance b if the distance b distance b is actually at this point right distance b uh which is greater uh the weight of u plus the weight of u. And I need to get updated for this time v to And then since I get updated, so maybe there's a path which is shorter, right? To up to any other point, right? So when we get updated, and I will just put that back into the current queue. So it's gonna be from distance v and then the the weight should be what the weight should be the distance v because we get updated, right? Alright, so now we almost finished. So uh so just basically, uh, sorry about this. So let me just finish the entire table, right? So from zero to zero, it's definitely, it's definitely infinite, right? So this is zero, one, two, three. This is zero, one, two, three, and change another color. So from zero to one is three. From zero, one, two is actually four. From zero, one, two, and four, three okay so i need to get up update to three just in case so this is five right from one to from one to zero is three from one to zero, one to one is zero from one to two is actually one from one to three is actually two from two to zero or from two to two to two to two to two okay two to two is zero two to one is one two to three uh two to three is one two to zero is actually four four so from three to three to three is actually zero from three to two is actually one from three to three to one is actually two, and then from three to zero is definitely five, right? This is the final distance array to the array, right? And uh, now we need to get uh, we need to travel travel based on the distance uh, threshold, and then the uh, the problem is going to say return a city with the smallest number of the city that are reachable through the some path of, of whose distance at most this uh distance threshold. Okay, this is definitely. Uh, pretty easy to understand. I'm not, I'm not gonna explain. But the problem is what if there are two city which have the same uh which have the same amount of this uh city, so you have to return the the, the largest one, which is city three, right? So 
uh, CD0, you can go from 1 and 2, CD3, you can go from 1 and 2. And then CD, you have to return CD3, this is because CD3 is actually a, a bigger value of CD0, right? So, uh, so how do we actually traverse this one? So we can actually just keep track of what? Keep track of the current self, for sure. So for CD0, we know these two should be what? Should be the minimum at, at some point, right? And then this, and then this one should be what? 3. Right, and this one is three, and this one is two, and then for every single traversal, we can actually just keep track of the current, uh, current minimum distance. So current minimum city, be honest, current current minimum city. If a current minimum city, current minimum city is get updated, then we will just return the index. Uh, this is pretty much a solution. So here is it. So for in i equal to zero, i less than n. I plus plus. For in j equal to zero, j less than n and j plus plus, right? And then if i equal to j, we don't we don't go, we don't bother, right? Oh, uh, now we need to what? Well, we need to know the minimum city, right? So the minimum city, I will just making sure it's by default is negative one, and the minimum city counts. By default, I'm going to say n, so they are n, they are n city. And then for every single traversal, based on the current city, so I'm say current city count. It's actually starting from zero, right? And then if uh, this a uh, i a u uh, i i and j sorry i and j is actually less than equal to uh distance threshold, I will get updated for my what current city count. Get updated, right? So after the for loop, I need to compare with my minimum city count, right? So if a minimum city count, which is greater, equal, so making sure you know it's equal, greater equal to the current city count, then you have to say current city count is actually equal to min city count. And then you will get update on your minimum city at i position. And I need to return min cd. So this is pretty much the entire solution. And let me run it. So making sure I don't have zero. What I do? So uh, okay, I pass in in the wrong order. Right? Am I right? Okay. Uh, pq dot remove priority q. Priority q dot remove. This is supposed to be correct, right? Oh, this is 2D array. Uh, sorry, this is 1D array. Alright, so now here we go. Alright, so I got the problem on the... Alright, so I got a problem. This is because, well, I didn't get update for the minimum city. I was like, make, I, I was like, um, make this typo so obviously. So, I'm going to try again, try again, and submit. Alright, so uh, sorry for the typo. You have to update the minimum city count, right? And I don't know what was what was I doing. Alright, so let's talk about time and space. And just for by default, right? The 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 time and space for the actual algorithm should be what all of b uh, plus v plus e and log v, right? And the uh, the reason why you use log v is represent the what uh, the priority q, right? But in this case. Since we actually uh, create a variable for the adjacent, a list of array of adjacent and then to the array and then and then etc. Right. So the time is the time and space for my solution is going to be n square for the time. Why? Because you need to traverse uh, every single cell in the to the array. Right. So this is n square. And n square is definitely greater than the age of uh, the absolute age, the absolute v plus absolute e. So v represent the vertices, e represent the ages, and so it's definitely n square because I need to try traverse right. And then for the space is two d uh is n square right two d array you have to have uh, n square. So this is pretty much the solution. So uh, I I know I didn't explain pretty well, but uh, there are so many stuff you have to go through a dextra. So this guy explained like eight, like eighteen minutes. So you can go through this example, and you probably will understand what happened. 
and I will see you next time. Bye.